Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Console Convert. This is part two of my recent squad beginners guide. If you're looking for the basics and you haven't seen part one yet, check it out by clicking on the card on screen now. I ended that video with a tip on how to avoid doing the extra things the squad lead might ask a rifleman to do. In this video, we're going to take a look at those things, including the basics of the medic role. Once you can do these things, you should be pretty comfortable in any game. Once a fob is up, it will need a supply drop to be able to build anything substantial like a hab, as well as supply and ammo. A logic run is the process of bringing a full logistics truck to the fob and dropping supplies. It's extremely common for the SL to ask a rifleman to do this job because the squad lead does not want to weaken the rest of the squad by being without the other roles like the medics or the light anti tanks. The default keys are F to get in the vehicle, Q to drop supplies, E to start and stop the engine. Direction keys the W, A, S, and D as you'd probably expect. To refill an empty Lodgy, you need to drive back to the repair station in Maine. The way to tell if a Lodgy is full or not is to get out and see if there are boxes in the back. It refills instantly, but I like to double check by getting out and having a look just to be sure. You can resupply the fob once you can see the fob information in the top left corner of your screen. And you can tell supplies have been successfully dropped when the numbers go up. If the SL uses an armed vehicle when leaving Maine, they may ask a rifleman to take over driving or the gun once everyone else drops out. For this reason, it's good to have practiced driving and shooting offline in the rifle range beforehand. The additional pressure being a vehicle operator comes from the fact that if your vehicle is destroyed it will lose your team tickets, which can be up to around 20 for the larger armoured vehicles like the BTRs and the Strikers. The gunner seat is F2 in most vehicles, F3 in some of the US Crows vehicles, but you can swap between all available seats with the function keys. Yes, the gun movement is supposed to be that slow, so think ahead, get your gun point in where you expect the enemy to be as early as possible. If you're driving, it can be helpful to have someone else in the vehicle providing directions on local chats, looking at the map and driving is a challenge. If you're on the gun, it can be helpful to have the driver share any contacts they spot in local chat, so you should have a good view ahead. Firing and reloading, the same controls as the standard weapon. On external gunner vehicles like this Techie, you can use the right mouse button to look down the sights just like standard weapon. And you can use shift to zoom when looking down the sights and when not. On other vehicles like this US Crow systems, you get a different screen. And on these you can use the Q button to zoom. BTRs are the same. Good beginner's tip, if you get hit by even only one enemy rocket, go get your vehicle repaired straight away at the repair station at Main, or your nearest fob if your team has built a repair station there. There are times in games when medics will be in high demand, and it adds pressure to the role. You'll want to stay alive so you're available to help your squad and teammates up, but helping them up may put you in dangerous positions, so it can be a challenge in balance to find. So the role of medics is to revive people who've been down, as well as restore and health to those who've been injured. To use a bandage on another person, press and hold the left mouse button. To use one on yourself, press and hold the right mouse button. You can see medics have additional information on their screens. Pausing this for a second, the flashing blood drip symbol means a player is bleeding, but they're still up. The circle around the outside is the remaining time until they bleed out. The red blood drop symbol means the player is down and bleeding out. When the circle timer runs out, the player is dead and they need to respawn. This symbol, when it's completely red, means the player is down, but they're no longer bleeding because they've been bandaged. They require a medic with the first aid pack to revive them. Good job, medic. On the map, the symbols are the blood drop for a player who's bleeding but they're still up, and the heartbeat line is a player who's down requiring a medic to revive. The first aid pack works the same way as bandages, left mouse button to apply to other players, right mouse button to apply to yourself. If a player is up bandages themselves, they only need the medic to use their first aid pack to restore their health to full. You can communicate with down players in local chat. Find a medic, don't give up. You can use this to let them know you're on your way, so not to give up. Or you can tell players you can't reach them, so they can give up and respawn rather than waiting. You can even ask them if they know where they got shot from before you approach. 
Although here I can see there are lots of players down just outside, I'm also aware that one medic can get them all up, and medics can get medics up. So even if they're all killed by one grenade, if I keep myself safe, I may still be able to go out and revive them all, so I choose to hang back. This cautious approach should continue in all circumstances. We're moving as a squad, try and hang back a bit. Try to stay separate from the other medic in your squad, so if one of you goes down, the other one can get you up. And if a medic does revive you, move apart from them straight away and regenerate your own health for that same reason. Let the other players push forward and take out the opposition while you play defensively behind them. Ready to take out opposition if they take your guys out and push your position. Also being poised to jump out and get your guys up if and when it's clear. In these examples I had walls for cover. On open maps you'll need to rely on smokes for cover when you're getting your guys up. Finally, don't feel you need to regenerate players health fully if you're under pressure. Every player up has an extra gun and more guns is better than full health when it comes to securing the area to get the other guys up. Well, we've reached the end of this beginner guide and I hope you found it useful. There's still plenty of other roles to learn, but once you can do these things competently, you should have a good grasp of the basics and you'll be contributing positively to your squad. For now, hope you continue to enjoy getting into the game. It's good luck guys and have fun.